It's the truth, he meant the future, you know I mean, That's what's wrong with this generation today These young boys today What do she bring to the table? The hell you mean, man? What do your ass bring to the table? You got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you. What else she need to slide up to the table with? What about your job? What happened to men who were supposed to be responsible? Do you know that it's our job to take care of a woman and some children to have a family? That's our damn job. Y'all hear this lame ass, swagless ass, simp ass, Woman pandering ass, thick ass mustache having, milk dud head, baggy suit wearing, Steve Harvey talking this bullshit. I don't even know when Steve Harvey became the, the, the go-to guy to speak on relationships. You got a nigga who basically does more for the next nigga kids than his own kids, right? Uh, uh, people didn't know Steve Harvey, basically, the woman Steve Harvey was with, Steve Harvey and this woman was basically living in a car together, this woman was taking Steve Harvey's uh, comedy shows and shit, Steve Harvey basically blew and left her for his side, bitch. This, uh, 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 this nigga Steve Harvey basically is one of them niggas that's out here, uh, uh, being stepdaddy of the year. While not paying his real kids attention like he paid the stepkids. You know, uh, Lori Harvey. Uh, you're not a Harvey. Steve Harvey is not your daddy. And, and it's a damn shame that imagine if you had a daughter and she done switched her name to, to her stepdaddy. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know. He rich. He got some money. He he going he going to take care of her. Cuz I remember uh Steve Harvey was playing saying I'm about to stop giving you money to Lori Harvey and 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 she dissed him. She carried him like, "Nigga, yeah, I right, you got me fucked up." So he's one of these niggas. Got the nerve to basically act like it's a bad thing to ask a woman what she brings to the table. I dare you ask these women what they bring to the table. Your job as a black man is to take care of a black woman who run around saying she don't need no man. That's your job. Nah. Uh-uh. You don't get to run around as a group talking about you don't need a man and then you want to tell brothers their job is to take care of a woman. No, your job is to take care of yourself. And if you meet a woman, if you feel like you're successful enough to take care of home, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with men who want to do that. But in this day and age, I see that they want to hold men to traditional standards while not holding women to the same. If you tell these women, uh, well, a woman's job is to cook and clean in the home, they'll look at you like you crazy. Notice Steve Harvey didn't say nothing about what her job is. He bypassed that. What, 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 what you mean, uh, what they bring to the table? No, your, your job is to take care of a woman. When we're in 2000 Jordan where women are working at an all-time high. All the marching they was doing. All the complaining they was doing. All the boss bitches out here. Come on, let's talk about it. Because look. When I'm driving through my city and I'm driving, I'm paying attention to what's going on around me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, when y'all driving out here, look around you and look at the type of cars women drive. Look around you. You're seeing women pulling up in big boy trucks, luxury cars. These hoes pulling up out here. Wherever you go, there are women working there. You got women lawyers, women in high places, in uh, uh, in companies. Women are working at an all-time high. Matter of fact, they brag every day on how they get money. They brag every day on how niggas grow. So you mean to tell me if you make 50K a year and you meet a woman that make 50K a year, your job is to pay for everything while she pocket her bread. Is this what you're telling me, Steve? Is this what we doing? Nah, uh-uh, I don't believe in that. These hoes scream about equality. While you equality, you gonna pay some bills. 
Where in 2000 Jordan, my nigga, it is no longer your job to take care of some bitch who making her own money. If you making your own money, you're going gonna, you gonna to have to ship in. Now, if you some rich man, you got so much money, you want your woman sitting at home while you pay, nigga, more power to you. But we talking about regular motherfuckers. Even if I'm a nigga that's making 100K, what's wrong with a single man who making 100K trying to get with a woman who make as much as him? You add that together, that's 200K. They want to run around, you know, uh, 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 preaching to men to keep being traditional. Keep being nice to them. Keep opening up the doors for them. Keep paying all the bills. Keep protecting them no matter what they doing as a group. The men group running around saying they don't need a man. How in the fuck you got this nigga Steve Harvey telling men your job is to take care of women who run around talking about they don't need a man. Women who run around bragging talking about how much money they got. These women are successful nowadays. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm not a hater. I'm proud of the strides women have made. I'm proud of the strides black women have made. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them are, are, are working in the judicial system, you know, uh, uh, working for the government. Hey, cool as the y'all. But you don't get to get your money up and pocket and pocket it. You don't get to do that. I don't know what the fuck this nigga Steve Harvey's talking about, man. He's holding these women to no standards. Man, don't be worried about what she bring to the table. It don't matter if she bring other niggas' kids to the table. Because, you know, he stepped that of the year. Boy, ain't nothing worse than a, than, a, than a nigga who's a better stepfather than a father, nigga. Ain't nothing worse. You got a lot of niggas out here, stepdaddies of the year, and, 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 and treat their stepkids better than their own damn kids. Hang with they step kids more than they own damn kids. Steve Harvey would be a perfect example of this. So just because, nigga, you out here playing stepdaddy, you out here funding uh uh your wife and all and her kids lifestyle, funding Laura Harvey and all them lifestyle, you 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 trying to preach to brothers to do the same. No, we don't do that. We ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? All this, 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 this dumb shit this nigga talking about. No accountability for these hoes. As a man, you shouldn't have no standards. This man said you keep talking. He got mad for them act, talking about what do you bring to the table. Something's wrong for a man to ask a woman, what do you bring to the table? What the fuck do you bring to the table? What is wrong with asking that? What you bring to the table, you know what they bring to the table. They bring a bunch of kids to the table. Uh, a crazy ex baby daddy who looking for her and, and he gonna be whoever asses with her. They bring aggressiveness to the table. They bring arguments to the table. They bring fighting to the table. They bring pictures on IG with they ass out to the table. They bring ex uh, uh, only fan content to the table. You know what I'm saying? But you know, as a man, you know, you shouldn't even care. Your job as a man to be on earth is to die for these hoes and take care of them, even though they're running around bragging about all the strides they're making, even though they're running around pushing better cars than you. You got grown ass men who ain't even got a car, who ain't even got a pot to piss in, but your job is to take care of some bitch, not get your shit together. That's your job. Your job is to come into a relationship taking care of bitches when, them both, when most of them come in with other nigga kids. Ain't this something? Ain't this something? Your job is to take care of a bunch of hoes and other nigga kids and to shut the fuck up and do it and don't have a problem with doing it. Be like Steve Harvey. Boy, I will never take any relationship advice Steve Harvey talking about, my nigga. I will never take it because we know all this man do is pander to these women. He not going to hold them accountable. Women can do no wrong. They can come to the table with as many kids as they want. Matter of fact, you should shut the fuck up and don't even talk about a table. It's bad if you even ask what a bitch bring to the table. Your job is to take care of hoes while they pocket they bread. That's your job. That's, what your, that, that's basically your job. Come on, man. I will never agree to this. I don't know what Steve Harvey's talking about. You know, uh, this is this is bad advice if you ask me, because you're basically saying 
Uh, men shouldn't have standards. Men shouldn't even ask a woman what she brings to the table. Men shouldn't look for somebody to come and meet them halfway. You know what I'm saying? This nigga talking like we in 1940. You would have had me, Steve Harvey, if this was back then when women wasn't working like they're working now. This is what they want. They want it both ways. And you got sucker ass niggas like Steve Harvey pushing the agenda of these women having shit both ways. They want to complain, cry, march for equality. And when they get what they want, they get the jobs. They're making the money they've been asking to make. They're pushing the luxury cars. They're owning homes. They're doing all these great things. But while doing this, a man should still take care of this bitch. You should still pay all the bills. So what's she going to be doing with her money? What's she going to be doing with her money? Now, imagine if you're in a situation as a man. This is how they get niggas, right? You you in a relationship. You and your woman make the same. But you one of them niggas, say y'all, they both make 50K a year. They go buy a home. They get married and buy a home. She pocketing all her money. You paying all the bills, paying for everything, being that simp Steve Harvey's trying to train you to be. So years ago, y'all don't pay the house off and you paying for all the shit and she files for divorce. So now, not only is she going to get that house you was only paying for, that you paid out your pocket. She ain't paid nothing because remember, you was paying all the bills while she pocket her money. So you're going to owe this bitch alimony. You're going to be paying child support. You're going to be giving her, she's going to be getting the house and she was stacking her money the whole time while you was spending all your money just to take care of the home and she done left with that and you get left with nothing. Because you wasn't saving, you was too busy paying all the bills while she pocket her money. Then you, 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 you left out the dry. So this bitch walk away with all the money she was saving while you was paying all the bills. This bitch walk away with the house and all that. This is, this is how Steve Harvey's trying to move. This is how he's trying to tell men to move out here, to put yourself in a situation where it can end up like that for you. I don't believe if some if some if somebody's in a relationship with somebody and they're both making money, I don't believe one person should be paying all the bills, my nigga. I don't believe in this. I believe everybody should chip in. I believe everybody should, you know, be paying for something. Don't be telling motherfuckers motherfuckers it's a man's job to take care of a woman. Because if a man says a woman's job to clean and cook, these hoes be mad. In my line. Are these hoes not out here mad when somebody say a woman's job is to be in that kitchen? They look at it as an insult. So you can't say a woman's job is to be in the kitchen. A woman's job is to be in the laundry room. A woman's job is to be cleaning something. You can't say that. Even though that was... How it was, right? Traditional wise. You can't say that. But you can say, a man tries to shut the fuck up and take care of a woman. Take care of her. It doesn't matter. That's your job. Die and protect her. Take care of a group of women who run around saying they don't need a man. This is the logic. You as a black man should run around knowing that you have to take care of a group of women who say they don't need you. I'm sorry. When you're known as a group of people who say they don't need a man, you, I, I don't believe those men that you say you don't need should be running around here thinking their sole job is to take care of you. This is crazy. This is crazy. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get no respect for it regardless. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to hear nothing this Simp ass nigga Steve Harvey talking about, man. You know, use a whole lane, my nigga. You know, I, I, I don't know what you talking about. You just keep doing what you doing. You be the stepdaddy who, who get used for money. You be that nigga, okay? You be the nigga who spend more time with another nigga kids than your own damn kids. You be that nigga. But we don't want to hear your bad advice, Steve Harvey. Go that way. Go that way, Steve. Lame ass nigga. I'm out.